Hello, Paul from Click and Turn here. Today I've got this olive ripple ash uh, from yesterday year. As you can see down here, it says three pound seventy-four. So, how many eons ago that might have been? I've no idea, but I picked this up from a chap uh, at the back of beyond near here, and um, he had this in his collection. So uh, I bought it off him, and we'll see what we can make from it. It's a bit of an odd size. Seven and a half inches. I don't suppose it grew or shrunk half an inch in its life. But hey ho, there we are. Uh, and it's three inches, which is about 75 mil deep. I'm going to uh, make this into a closed bowl Viking style um, because I'm doing a Viking fake uh, in May and uh, I need some stock so it's going to be a bowl you can put soup in if you like or whatever but it's going to come in and it's going to have the high point about three quarters of the way up tapered in a little bead around the edge and then hollowed out so that's my plan, let's see how it goes. Right, oh, well, I'm not gonna worry about flattening off the sides, I'm just gonna start turning to round and then we'll work out the absolute di uh, outer diameter as we get to it. 750 RPM. Now let's get to it. Put a new edge on my gouge so uh, Crack. Okay, because this is going to be a closed bowl, we're just going to bring it in a little bit. <laughs> Something feels wonky about this bit of wood. Because we're going to have a bead around this top edge, I'm just going to sink in where I want the bead to be and then I'll blend the rest to the point. You'll see what I mean. to make this bowl shallower because I want to get rid of that crack that's on there so uh, I 
think by the time I've got rid of that tannin we'll be around the right sort of level so let's have a go at that. Well, let's have a go at that tenon again. Now we've got to refine the shape again. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> round over that feed a little bit. I'm not going to use sanding sealer on this because I want it to be food safe. Uh, just to bring it out a bit. No point making it super shiny and super blingy for a, a shelf piece because um, Quite frankly, if it's going to be a functional piece, uh, most of the shine and the sheen will probably disappear quite quickly anyway. Well, that's a bit annoying. There must have been something wrong with the way that the uh, spur was mounted in the chug. It did look central, but when I turn it on, there's probably about a millimetre or two of movement in it. So, uh, I do really need to true that up again, which is quite annoying. Okay, well, I've done messing around with the, uh, the actual body of the bowl and the bead, so let's just get to hollowing, hollowing this out. turn in reverse because being where my lathe is and the length of my tools I just can't get the angles to do the undercut so that's why it all looks a bit odd and backwards to you. the grub screw turned in to make it safe. Thankfully the thread's not damaged. So um, yeah, don't know why that came off. We'll work on that one. Well that previous episode resulted in misery in the man cave. Uh, a small catch uh, just unexplainably um, released the chuck from the thing in reverse even though the grub screw was tightened in of course the result was that the grub screw tore out part of the thread so I've now had to perform 
thread surgery on the lathe head. Oh, uh, the chuck. I have no idea. I haven't even looked at it yet, but it won't go back on the thread. But all my other chucks are quite happily screwing onto the uh, the head. So, God knows. Uh, anyway, I think we ought to carry on. catastrophe of earlier um, we got chestnut food safe and I'm just going to put that on I'm not going to put any sealer on or anything like that I'm just going to let the oil soak in and do its thing so it can be used cleaned and used again anyway let's get on with that A couple of coats on uh, on the grounds that this stuff soaks in really quickly and I have noticed I've got a bit of a bug hole there and it actually goes through to the other side so I'm quite annoyed about that as well so it won't be a usable piece so just a decorative piece this time round You might note a sound of disappointment in my voice. Well, it's been a bit of a bit of a thing this one, with the uh, when in reverse, the chuck spinning off. Uh, luckily, the the uh, thread on the on the head of the lathe was okay. However, the chuck is knackered. I'm very disappointed about that. 100 quid's worth down the drain unless I can find a 33mm tap and die set which I don't have lying around and I expect is probably about 50 quid so maybe spares are available who knows finally we're just going to take the uh, tenon off Stand up. 